Brawlers, baby. What's up, boxer fans? It's your boy Rick Bahamut, Baller Sports Media in the building. This is the Baller Sports Boxing Show. Well, tonight, as you know, Richard Comey and beat Jackson Marinez in a scheduled 12 round, if you will, with a six round TKO. Comey's been off, off uh, from boxing for like 14 months uh, due to his last loss. Uh, as you all know, Tiafimo Lopez took his IVF strap, and sometimes it's a, it's a lot for fighters to deal with. In this case, he probably had a lot going on mentally with his mindset. Wasn't ready to get back in that ring yet. But 14 months out of the ring, he comes back. He fights a guy 19-0. Dangerous fight against Jackson uh, Marinez. But even though you've laid off for 14 months, you had a hell of a camp, 8, 10, 12 weeks, doesn't matter. The things that you train to do in the fight in camp don't always come to play when the bell rings for that live fight that you trained for. So he probably was a little punch shy from uh, losing to Tiafimo. And it took him a while to get to get started. He started late, really slow. And uh, up until the sixth round TKO, the judges had that fight as uh, going towards, leaning towards a split decision uh, at that time. So he finally got it together. His corner was telling him, hey, you gotta do something. You need to do something. You know, you're standing out here. Uh, you're not, you're not, you know, capitalizing on, on uh, Marinez's mistakes. You're not throwing the jab enough, and you're not setting yourself up to let those combinations go from that setup punch, which, which is the jab, the best punch in boxing. Once he started warming up a little bit and touching him with the jab, he had some success. Dropped Marinez the first time in the sixth round, he gets back up, and then Comey cracks him again with a right hand, and that caused uh, the referee, Kitty Bayless, as y'all know, stepped in in the sixth round to wave that fight. Impressive comeback for Comey. Probably got off some, some good ring rust in that fight. That's a lesson learned for him. So now you see, uh, with that layoff, you could be in great shape coming back for that comeback fight. But that, that gap in that time does make a big difference when it's time to stand up against your opponent on fight night. There's a lot of waiting, a lot of hesitation, and then the punch shy part from the beat. The beat up that he took from Tiafimo, all that comes into play because remember, 90% of boxing is mental. So you have all these things, all these variables when you're going into a fight, especially if you're coming off of a bad loss by way of stoppage and losing your title, that's a double whammy. So looks like he appeared to get it together. And in time, he'll, he'll gradually get to being the, the old calming uh, that his fans are used to seeing. He'll start picking that pace up more and more as he starts getting in the ring more often. Um, what can I say? Hey, PBC, that was a that was, that was actually top rank in the bubble. Uh, MGM Grand also at ringside was cheering on Richard Comey, the man that beat him and took his strap. Tiafimo Lopez showed him a lot of love at the fight. Uh, afterwards, they spoke. Lopez hugged him and everything. Is there going to be a possible rematch with uh, Comey and Lopez? Possibly. You know, when you're doing uh, when you got good scholars in the business uh, and everybody is a brotherhood. In boxing, if you will, they love one another. It's a friendship, okay, but when we fight, it's a business. After I beat your ass, <laughs> if you're back out of the ring, we're friends again. So they understand how the business works. And they got a good relationship, and they respect one another uh, a lot. So that's it for now. It's your boy, Rick Muhammad. Just wanted to touch base and recap on the Comey versus Marinas fight. That's it for now. Hey, remember, we're still in a, in a pandemic. Practice social distancing. Wear your mask. Keep your hands clean. And let's stay safe and let's stay alive. Till next time, it's your boy Rick Mohammed, Brawler Sports Media in the building, and this is the Brawler Sports Boxing Show. Let's go, champs. Brawlers, Brawlers baby. Brawlers, baby.